This video will show you how to create the exploded view drawing for our Automata project, uh, which is what you see in, in front of you here. So notice all of the different things that are in this drawing. We have a uh, title block, like we do with every drawing. We have a parts list, which uh, basically catalogs every single part that you used in your Automata project by giving it a number, showing you how many times you used it, and then identifying what that part was. Uh, we have a fully assembled isometric drawing of your automata, and then this right here would be the exploded view uh, drawing, which notice basically just explodes your design so that it makes it easier to see uh, all of the parts individually, as well as how all of those parts kind of fit together uh, to fully make your design. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started by making this. Uh, you will want to make sure that you have this file downloaded and opened, which is the one that I posted to Schoology, which is called the Automata Exploded View uh, Template. Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, insert the, the easy things in here first, which includes the, the title block uh, and the isometric view. So we'll add the title block first, click on the little arrow next to Drawing Resources, then the little arrow next to Title Blocks, then right click Title Block, click Insert. And then under the name field, you want to type in your name. And then under project title, type in Automata. And then click OK. All right, and there is our title block. Uh, the rest of these fiel fields will be filled in once we get a uh, s assembly file in here. So let's go ahead and add in our assembly file, the one that was assembled that was kind of up in this top right corner. So uh, we'll click Base. And then you want to click on the folder icon and then just find where your assembly file is, and then click Open. All right, and mine is giving me the front view first, but again, we want this to be isometric, so I'm going to change that to be the isometric view, and then I'm gonna drag it up to close to where it needs to be. And then the other option that you wanna select is this shaded style, so that it stays colored and shaded, like what you see right here. And as far as scale, I found that a half scale uh, works pretty good. It gives just enough space for the parts list to go right below it. All right, so then click OK. All right, and there is our assembled uh, drawing. Next, let's add in our parts list. We're going to go up to Annotate, and then the Parts List button is right here. So we're going to click on that. And then what it wants us to select now is the view to get all of the parts from. So obviously, we only have one view, so we're going to just click on that one, and then just click OK. And then you notice you have a box attached to your cursor now, and that is your parts list. So now you just want to drag uh, and place where your parts list will be on your drawing sheet. So I'm going to click it here and just kind of line up the right side of this table with the right side of the title block. I found that looks pretty nice. Uh, so again, you'll notice we have uh, basically each part is numbered, the quantity, and then the part number. We also have this description column here, which is blank. Uh, and I'm not planning on using that, so we're going to just go ahead and get rid of that. So uh, to do that, right-click on your parts list and then go down to the Edit Parts List option. All right, and again, it's this description column that we don't want. So we want to just right-click and then go to Column Chooser. And then the description column is the one that we want to remove, so click it here and then just click the Remove button, click OK and then click the Apply button, and then you'll notice that the description column goes away. All right, so that was the easy steps to create our uh, exploded view drawing. The last and most time-consuming part will be actually creating the exploded view uh, right here, which in order to make this, we need to create a presentation file uh, in Inventor. So you, to do that, you're gonna go up to File, and then new, then presentation. And what you want, it's going to pop up with this insert uh, file window, and you want to insert your uh, assembly file in here first. So kind of navigate to where your assembly file is. And then click open. All right, and you'll notice that you have your assembly file in here now. Uh, and what we want to do is uh, basically we just want to drag all of these parts uh, away, like we want to drag the left part of the box to the left, the right part of the box to the right, 
bottom part down and the top part up and then this back part back. Okay, so we kind of want to move everything away from the center, uh, sort of like what you see here in this uh, example. Okay, and here's how you can do that. So this tweak components button is what you're going to be using. So I'm going to click that. And I found the best way to do this is to work from the center out. So I'm going to start with the, uh, the sides of the box first. So I'm going to click the, let's do the bottom part first. So I'm going to click the bottom. And then you'll notice it gives you these arrows. Since this is the bottom piece and the center of our box is here, I, we want this to obviously to go down. So I'm just going to click on this arrow and then just drag down. You don't have to be super exact with this, uh, as long as we can easily see pieces once they're expanded is, is what we want. So um, after you drag it down just a little ways, uh, you can either press the Enter key or you can right click and click OK. And then just move, move on to your next uh, piece. So I'm going to go ahead and do this piece here. Since this is the right side of our box, uh, that means we actually want to click on this arrow right here, even though it's pointing this way. We're just going to click that arrow and then move it the, the opposite direction. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. All right, and then you, you want to keep zooming out so that there's no overlap. So notice this bottom part of our box that we, we just did before this. Uh, notice I don't want to stop moving it here because I still can't see the full part of the bottom box. You want to just keep dragging just like that until there's no overlap. So see how we can have a little gap between our parts now. And again, just hit enter or right click and click OK. All right, and you want to keep doing this for every single one of your parts and expanding it out. Um, I won't do the full thing in this video because that would be way too long. Uh, but one more thing I want to show you how to do is, um, depending on your design, you might get two parts like these two follower guides that would need to be moved the same amount. Uh, and here's how you can do two basically at the same time that if they need to move together, um, click on that tweak components button. And then when you click one, uh, hold down the control button on your keyboard and then click the other one. And you'll notice see how both have a uh, blue outline now. So they're both selected. And then when we drag, it will move both at the same time. Okay. All right, and then just click OK to, to stop that. So um, that's kind of just a brief tutorial on how to get your exploded view uh, done. Uh, when you're done with that, make sure you go up to File and then um, save this in your Automata folder. Uh, you can just save it as Automata Presentation. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to go back to your drawing. So let's say that that presentation is done. Now go back to your drawing and then click Place Views and Base, just like we did previously. And then here, instead of selecting your assembly file, you want to select the presentation file. So then click Open. And then you'll. this is the one that I did previously. Uh, I would change the scale to half. All right, and then click OK. Oh forgot to select shaded, so we go edit and then make sure shaded is selected. All right, the only thing that's missing in this is if you notice, I have these balloons with numbers on them, which basically just uh, help catalog the uh, parts uh, and identify it with the parts list here. So if we go back to this, I'll show you how to quickly add those. We go up to annotate and then click on this balloon. And then all you have to do is just click on one of your parts and then uh, left click once, and then you'll notice that it will still be attached to your cursor even after you've clicked. Uh, if you right click then, and then click continue, uh, it will just drop it where you clicked uh, the first time. So, um, and notice that 14, that would be the follower bushing, which is uh, what that piece right there is. Uh, now, since this piece is also the follower bushing, you do not need to use another balloon to identify the same part since we already have that one done. So you only need to do each part once, even if you have a duplicate uh, of that part. So uh, again, you don't need to do every single one, just each part at least once. So that means on on my drawing sheet here, I should have 15, or I'm sorry, 16 total balloons, uh, but I shouldn't have any number twice. Okay. But again, once you're done, it depending on your design, it should look something similar to what we have here. Okay, so uh, good luck.